Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you an easy way of wrapping process of the body. It is the same with the head, but I will demonstrate it on the body. So let's import our base mesh and our custom mesh. To get the topology you will need to import file import. In DNA calibration data you have that female body skeleton and male body skeleton FBX files. I will use female one, so let's import it. As you can see, the body is separated from the head. But in the body rig inside it, you can see that there is a lot of LODs and inside LOD0 there is a hidden mesh. Let's unhide this and hide the body and there is a full body base mesh. So you can use this as a base and go to the ZBrush and Z-wrap your full character from this mesh. But there's a problem. So we will fix it right now. So let's say that we exported it and we do the wrapping process and get our model. I will import my custom mesh. So this is my custom mesh. As you can see, this is my custom mesh and what I need to do is I want to transfer this mesh to that separated body mesh. Before that, we need to delete the head mesh. To do it, you need to go to UV, UV editor and select the first UV tile as polygons and make sure nothing is selected on the body and then let's delete this in here. In your scene, let's delete this. And as you can see, we have body mesh and a base mesh. So normally I go here and select my body mesh, create blend shapes and then select custom mesh, right click at selection and make it one. This is happening. It is happening because these two shapes metadata is not matching. The vertex orders are not the same. So we need to transfer the vertexes with another method. So I have a solution for that. I will go to select custom version and then select my base and then go to mesh, transfer attributes and click on the box near to it. Inside the settings, these are my settings. Vertex position is on, vertex normal is on because we want to transfer these options and then we don't want to transfer any UV sets, we don't want to transfer any color sets and we are doing it in the space of UVs. So the mesh will look at the UVs and decide which point goes to where. I say that look at the UVs and transfer the vertex position and then apply. And as you can see, we transferred successfully. This kind of visualization may occur, but if you go and just export it as OBJ, you will be fine. Exported it and go back, re-import it, and now you have this mesh. So let's test it in our FPX skeleton scene. I will re-import the scene again. So. I imported both of them, my custom mesh and my base mesh. Let's do the same thing in here. I will go to base mesh, create blend shape and then go to the custom mesh and add a selection as target. Let's see if it will be broken. Now it is working as you can see and I can delete it. Yeah. Now you can use this body mesh with Metapipe. This is how you solve full body transformation problems. Hope you like it. If you have any questions about any questions about wrapping process, I won't show the wrapping process because there is tons of tutorials, videos on YouTube, internet. You can watch one of them and then just do the wrapping process. This is how you can use a wrapped mesh with Metapipe. You can export this model as OBJ and the rest is the same with the Metapipe workflow. So that's it. Good luck with your MetaHumans and MetaHumans body meshes. Bye.